When I joined the board of Tesco as the first marketing director 20 years ago, the world's most profitable retailer was an English company called Marks and Spencer. And the world's most profitable uh, f supermarket chain, food supermarket chain, was also English, uh, Sainsbury. And we were worth about a third of the other two companies. Uh, and you will know in business, it's very rare that a distant number three really changes the game on two strong, well-established industry leaders. No one 20 years ago in the UK would have predicted that it would be Tesco that would have won uh, the battle of the supermarket chains and become the, one of the leading uh, retailers around the world. Uh, and the first lesson I want to share with you is find the truth. I found uh, that, that the best possible thing you can do is go to your customers and ask them. They've got the least vested interest. They're more reliable than advisors. They're more reliable than managers. They're more reliable even than your close colleagues. Organizations are capable of much more than they think they are. And we as leaders, we've got to, we've got to encourage people and I'm sure Francois will talk about this later, encourage people to do more than they think they can do individually. I learned that vision, values, culture, the soft, the intangible side of management is actually more important in sustained business success than the hard side of management, strategy, finance, marketing, even IT. And trust and confidence are the most powerful qualities within any organization. You've actually got to see your competitors as your best teacher. Never look for the weakness in your competitors. Look for their strengths first and actually see what you can learn from those strengths, how you can bring that into your uh, business. And, and it's a race because the, you know, the winner is the one that learns from the competitor quicker than the competitor learns from you. The definition of leadership that I like is a leader will take you further than you would go on your own. You, you've got to inspire into people self-belief. You've got to give them a purpose that is worth uh, bringing their whole being uh, to work. You've got to, you've got to earn their trust, but more importantly, you've got to be brave enough to give them your trust. And that's the hardest thing for a leader to do, actually to put your fate in their hands. You don't have to be charismatic. Uh, you don't have to copy the leaders who went before you. Just be yourself, but actually open up so people can see who that self is. And you don't want one leader. Uh, one of the uh, trailers said it very well. You want thousands of leaders. You want everyone in the organization so fired up about the business and what it's trying to do that they're prepared to stand up and take responsibility in any situation. They feel that they've got your confidence, they've got your trust, and you're going to back them up if they take responsibility. And then you've got leadership right the way throughout the organization. You've got people who are prepared to innovate, be creative, do new things, make the right decision on the ground, uh, and that's a really dynamic, responsive organization. Look around you today, all over the place, all over the world, there are businesses booming because they see the world differently. They see opportunity where the rest of us uh, see problems and restrictions. So if we can all learn a bit more from them, I think we can find that extra bit of growth that will lead us uh, back into growth into the future. Thank you very much.